let's go to level two. Level two, you might want to add descriptions to your experience. So for example, here in this screenshot, as founder and CEO of Thea, these are the things that I was able to do while I was there, right? So LinkedIn also checks the descriptions of your experiences because that's what they're going to use to suggest your profile to recruiters, to hiring managers, and suggest some skills as well that you can add later on and we'll discuss that. But if you're able to add experience descriptions, so for example, what did you accomplish in this role and what did you do in this role, that's going to help the algorithm suggest you to more people, especially you for recruiters and hiring managers. So I'm coming from the perspective of someone who has tried to hire on LinkedIn um, and coming from from my experience, um, when there are no people applying for my job yet, I can actually invite people to apply. And that's going to show me profiles of people according to, to my um, qualifications that I've set. And again, adding experience descriptions allows your profile to be suggested more. So here are just some of the things that you might want to consider adding in the experience descriptions. Another thing that you can add are your skills. So for here, for now, what you can do is add some skills based on what you think, like, like for example, if you have some target roles in mind already, what you think recruiters or hiring managers for that role will be looking for. And as you can see, mine already has endorsements. So when someone visits my profile, a connection of mine visits my profile. So for example, your org mates visit your profile, it's gonna prompt them like, if you wanna endorse this person, for this specific skill. And it actually in, increases your credibility when more people endorse you for a specific skill. So as you can see, for my management skills, 31 people have endorsed me for that skills and people for that skill and people I've worked with in different companies um, have endorsed me as well. So when filling this up, just think what are the things that you can do? What are the skills needed in your target job? Or what are the tools that you might be using in your job or the tools that you can, you can use? If you filled out your experience, for example, your experience, you put in the role already and you put in, for example, the description of your experience, LinkedIn is actually going to suggest uh, they're going to suggest skills for you to add already. So, for example, this screenshot right now that you are seeing are actually um, suggestions of LinkedIn based on what they know about me already, based on the experience that I've put in. If you try it right now, it's going to show a different set of skills. So, this is not the template skills that we need to LinkedIn for anyone. It's based on your profile already. So, I suggest that you do this after you put in your experience and experience descriptions already. Next, licenses and certification. So this is a screenshot from from the founder of a co-founder of Invested's um, profile. Uh, some licenses and licenses and certifications that he has. So if you note, these are bigger ones. So for example, like from LinkedIn, from Solo Learn, from really reputable organizations. And because some of the tips that I have when adding licenses and certifications, don't add everything. Um, prioritize some licenses and certifications that come from well-known issuing organizations. So again, when you're adding a license or a certification, there are organizations there. So issuing organization and then my drop-down in the lalabas. And that's where you pick the organization that gave you um, that gave you that certification. So usually, if you can find them already on that drop-down, that probably means they're a well-known issuing organization already. But if you're having a hard time, finding uh, that issuing organization on the drop down that probably means you might want to double um, double check or like really think about whether this is worth adding to your profile but um, some tips here just think of what skills you have certifications for or if there are licenses that are preferred in the industry or function that you want to join all right and next is the you URL. So if you plan to put your LinkedIn profile on your business card or let's say in your resume, um, my resume has a link to my LinkedIn profile and my email signature has a link to my LinkedIn profile. And if you don't set this up, it's going to be like a string of random numbers to say yung, yung URL mo on LinkedIn. So you want to personalize this to some extent. So when you go to your LinkedIn profile, on the upper right, there's like edit public profile and URL. You click that. 
and then you can use a professional variation of your name or your initials. Just don't use unprofessional usernames. So whatever your your Steam username is or whatever you use for online gaming, probably don't use that username. Um, try some variation na lang of your initials or your name. Mine is just Dr. Conde. I don't use my full name because it's prone to being misspelled. Um, as you can see right now, my name is difficult to spell. Nababaliktad yung E-N-I. So I just use um, my initials sometimes for my professional username. So that's another tip if you want to add that URL to your resume or to your business card. 